Welcome back to the channel, guys. Art the here from Draft Media. Here to talk about the wing from Arkansas, Ricky Council the fourth. The Wichita State transfer has made a significant jump in his junior year, averaging 20 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds per game as of December 2nd. On a team loaded with NBA prospects, Ricky has been the number one option on offense, leading the SEC in points. Ricky also brings an NBA-ready 6'6", 205-pound frame. Within the first seven games of the season, Ricky Council has already put together an impressive highlight reel filled with his incredible leaping ability. He drives to the basket fearlessly and has no regard for any defenders who may attempt to contest. To say he possesses NBA-level athleticism would be an understatement. Despite his freakish athleticism, Ricky isn't primarily an above-the-rim player. He uses his athleticism to hang in the air long enough to maneuver around defenders, keeping the jelly layup package alive and well. He attacks both on the catch and off the dribble, driving to the basket with good pace and composure, resulting in a very efficient game. He does seem to slightly struggle with any type of floater or hook shot every now and then, but evidently his touch can't be too big of a concern due to the aforementioned acrobatic layups he's able to pull off. Council does a good job at driving hard to the basket to draw fouls. He's averaging 4.3 free throw attempts per game while shooting 73% from the line. His efficiency from the charity stripe has been all over the place in his college career on similar volume, which is a little puzzling going from 64% to 85% to the current 73. Ricky shows his passion for the game with these offensive putbacks. Whether it be following his own shot or other teammates, second chance points are always a game changer. Ricky seems his most comfortable is definitely the mid-range. He's a player who will certainly benefit from the isolation heavy style of the NBA. You can see him use his athleticism again on these pull-ups as he readjusts his body to be square to the basket. Ricky also gets these looks out of the pick and roll, however he doesn't really look to the roll man on these possessions, something that could certainly elevate his game to a new level. He's also able to knock down these mid-range shots while running off screens. Efficient of a shooter Ricky is from inside the arc, he still finds himself struggling from downtown. He's currently shooting 9 of 29 from 3 which is 31%. His form looks completely different from behind the arc. It's a set shot where he generates most of the power from his shoulders rather than his legs. Hopefully he's able to fix this with the aid of NBA developmental staff to make it one smooth motion similar to his mid-range form. Though there are much worse shooters than Ricky, 31% is still not good enough to be a reliable outside shooter at the NBA level. If he's able to reinvent his form, he could become a dangerous three-level scorer.
His woes from behind the arc are on a much greater display when shooting off the dribble. A lot of his shot attempts are way off the mark, which in my opinion goes back to his form. If there's anything that will hinder Ricky's draft stock, it will be his jump shot. Playmaking isn't anything spectacular, he is averaging 3 assists per game by making sure he's not a ball stopper. It is always good to see a player making the correct pass to give his teammates easier looks. Ricky can get a little careless with the ball at times, averaging 2.3 turnovers per game. Whether it be a lazy pass or a reckless handle from time to time, it would be in his best interest to tighten up these loose ends. Council has been a good defender thus far in his Arkansas career. He's posted an 89.3 defensive rating and is averaging 2 steals per game. But he does seem to fall behind plays from time to time, however is able to recover well with the block sometimes. With all due respect, he hasn't played against elite competition thus far. The best player he has defended was Ryan Nemhart from Creighton, which he struggled to stay in front of. I do believe his defense should be decent to good in the NBA. He possesses a 6'10 wingspan that competes hard. He just won't be looked at as a defensive stopper, rather a good team defender. Ricky's two steals per game are a huge bonus to his defensive game though. He nearly makes up for his own turnovers by returning the favor to opposing teams. My NBA comparison for him is Lonnie Walker IV. Like Ricky, early in his career he primarily looked to attack the mid-range rather than from three. I could picture a similar career path for Ricky as an offensive spark who may struggle to find his role early in the NBA, but will eventually figure it out and become a significant player for the right NBA franchise. My draft projection for Ricky Council IV is a late first to early second round pick. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the draft media family.